Hello and welcome to Quantum Doilies in Soho. Now, Soho is very special to us, obviously, because we're in it. <laughs> but we recently did a dessert tour of Soho where Sally and I went around to the whole area eating all the delicious sweet things. We did, and it was hard eating all that much cake in one day. But we loved it, and you guys loved it too, because you come into our shop here and you tell us that you're actually on the tour, which is yeah. just wicked. And we just thought Soho is a really small part of London. London is massive. There's heaps of other areas to explore, aren't there? There are, and some of them aren't that far away either, which is lucky for us. Um, so we're going to hit today yes. Covent Garden in Seven Dials, which is a short walk further along from Soho. And there are loads of really good sweet spots there. And there's been some great, exciting new openings as well, so I want to show you those. I want to eat some good things. Oh, it sounds like a really <laughs> tough day for us, Gemma. I think I know. we should probably get on with it. Such a hard one. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> This is Fabrique Bakery, which is a Scandinavian bakery, and they specialise in cardamom rolls, cinnamon rolls. And their bread is amazing bread. as well. If you come, you have to get bread. Yeah, we quite often pop in here after our meetings at Soho for a sneaky little cardamom roll. <laughs> right, let's Don't tell get, anyone. Let's <laughs> get some, see what else they've got as well. Yeah. just smells so good in there because of all the lovely spices. What did you get? I've got a cardamom and vanilla bun, which is a little bit like a cinnamon bun with cardamom in it, which is delicious. A lot of people don't really like it, but I think you I think you don't it. like it, but you'll love this. It's really fragrant. I got something I've never seen there before, which is a blueberry and vanilla bun, which looks kind of squishy and crumbly and yummy. It just looks amazing. Yeah, right. so let's do it. Let's, yeah. Me first. Okay, me first. <laughs> It's just so delicious. I mean, we're no stranger to this. <laughs> we're really not. We love this bun. Mm, 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 I'm going to have to have a bite of it. But before I do, ooh, let's peel this bad boy. Mm, look at all the juicy blueberries. It does look very muffiny, really. It does, it? actually. Mm, that looks so good. Mm. It's actually got crumble on top, hasn't it? Yeah. Like, like an apple crumble crumble topping. Which is the best bit of crumble. This is really nice. It is a bit muffiny. Mm, yummy. Mm. Let's do another swap. I want to try yours. Mm. Uh, Hang on. Put that bit. Okay, here we go. I just love these so much. And sometimes when they bake them, a skirt of like caramelized goop comes out, and that's mm. the best bit. Mm. That is really lovely. I've never mm. had this one before. This, this is a great start. Let's head on to something maybe a little bit more. What do you think? Yeah. Breakfast is over. Let's get more sweet. Come on. <laughs> okay, so just a short hot skip and a jump from Fabrique Bakery is this place, which is delicious. And I used to live really, really near their original site in Islington. I used to go there all the time for a sneaky ice cream on a dog walk. So you've never been here before. No, I haven't, but I've walked past it loads of times. Like I said in the last one, there's just so many ice cream places in London. There are a lot of ice cream. And this is ice cream, not gelato. So this is like proper ice cream. <laughs> there's loads of really good flavors and there's loads of vegan options, which is great. So let's, awesome. let's start it. Oh, so they have really great flavors in there. Yeah, yours are really exciting. I got a millionaire shortbread at the bottom here and apple crumble and custard, mm. which is like my favorite dessert ever. Yeah, with ice them. cream, it's what you have with ice cream, so yeah. it's all in one. Mm. And I've got two vegan flavors. I've got chocolate sea salt and a salted caramel as well. Mm. Vegan caramel is hard too, so yeah, no. I'm Let's impressed. See what, see what it's like. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. This That's is so really nice. apple crumbly, which is good because it's apple crumble flavor. <laughs> it's had the bottom bit, hang on, so drippy. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Yum. You honestly wouldn't know that that was vegan. Can I have a go? At all. Yeah, go for Here, have a, have a little lick of that. have a lick of this. Mmm. Oh. I know, right? It tastes just like apple crumble. I know, <laughs> Well, this yeah. is melting pretty quickly, so mm. we've got a lot of eating to do. Let's yeah. eat and walk. Okay. Can we do that? Yeah. I think you're licking it. <laughs> <laughs> So 
we're here at St John's Bakery, which is in Neil's yard, and it's just a small little outlet. They have a couple of restaurants which are amazing. They specialise in kind of nose to tail eating, but they also specialise in baking bread, and particularly they are well known for their donuts. Yes, definitely. And who says no to donuts? Nobody says, only fools. <laughs> also, I can just see in the window they have my, one of my favourite things, which is Eccles cake, which is a really traditional British thing. So, I think they have too. Flaky little Eccles cake. What did you get? I've got a butterscotch donut, and normally mm. when I get donuts, I'm quite boring and I just go for like a glaze or a raspberry jam. But this that is, is a butterscotch custard, so I just thought that sounded amazing. And I got my favourite little Eccles cake, which normally would be made with lard, I think, but I think they'd probably make it with butter. And it's a really flaky little pastry full of currants, and it is so nice. That does look incredibly flaky. It's very heavy. <laughs> That's what they are. I'm not though. sure I'm going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> Right, let's do this. Ah. Is it full of, full of filling? <laughs> More full than you were expecting? Mm. Oh dear, I mean, it happens to the best of us. Mm. I've got, this is super flaky. Oh, look at that. Oh wow, mm. they really like a filling. And a flake. <laughs> a filling and a flake. <laughs> That's delicious. It's not too sweet mm. either. Sometimes custard and donuts is a bit like overpowering. There's heaps in here, it's delicious. This tastes like kind of Christmas. Does it? In a good way. Well, it's not long till Christmas, guys. Oh, so. yeah, it's not. Let <laughs> me have some of that. Okay, let's swap these. Mm. See if you can do it without dropping any flakes. Oh, I can't do that. Good luck. I'm going to eat this blob. Go on, then. Right. Mmm. Oh. Like, really light and whippy. This flavour is so typically kind of English, isn't yeah. it? It is. It's really kind of nostalgic. As Spicy well. currants yeah. are very, very British. We do lots and lots of bakes. We're like Welsh cakes. We've got currants in. Eccles cakes. Mince pies. At Mince pies. pies. Just like that. Oh, delicious. Yum. Right. Let's finish these up and um, head to the next place. Shall we? Right. <laughs> We're here at Seven Dials Market, which just opened this month, so it's really exciting. And it's opened by Curb, who are a big street food collective. So the place is packed full of really amazing street food. There's but 50 traders here. 50 traders, mad. That's loads, but it's in an old banana warehouse. So back in the olden days, this building used to be a banana warehouse. So people would um, store their bananas here for the market. <laughs> Um, this little alleyway used to be called Cucumber Alley, so they've reinstated its name. It's really fun, and there's some really yummy things here. Yeah, there's lots of different sweet things. So we're going to have a look around, grab a few, and take them down to the sort of open area, and we'll check them all out there. Have a little yeah. taste. Come on, let's go. Island, which are these Taiwanese pancakes filled with delicious fillings, <laughs> and we also went to Big Shot, which is donuts. Um, the donuts are amazing. We've got a vegan donut and a s'mores donut, and then we've got loads of little donut holes. One of these. So that's that's a cake donut. Yeah. And this is a fried donut. Blueberry and lemon. This mm. thing. Go. Just plain, I think. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. I've never had a cake donut, I don't think. No. I want to eat the other one. That's really nice. You just ate the whole thing? Yeah. I've got a lot of donut. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, bite size. I need to pace myself. I'm going to get three in at once. Mm. <laughs> right, I want to try this. If there's ever anything s'mores related, we have to get it. Mainly because of the toasted marshmallows. Yeah, that's the best of it. There's nothing better than the smell and taste of toasted marshmallows. Yeah. I didn't even get any <laughs> Look at that. Oh, squishy, squishy. That is a good donut. Let's have a go. There you go. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh. That's good, isn't it? They're just so yeah, they're, they're really light, aren't they? Yes, they are. Right, let's see if this vegan one will go. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. That's good. Mm. Yeah, again, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. I came and I had, um, when they opened, I had the, they have got a peanut butter one, which is really yummy. Look at this one. 
like, I don't understand how it's vegan. Yeah, I know, it's perfect. It's just, oh my god, that's great. It's so good, isn't it? It's so tiny. It's so Mmm. Yummy. Right, right. Well, Let's talk about wheel cakes. Down donuts. So wheel cakes are Taiwanese. They're like pancake batter. And they're so cool. They're like poured into these amazing kind of iron um, mould things, aren't they? Yeah. And toasted. And they've got fillings inside. And we've gone for some classic kind of Asian fillings. Um, one is matcha. Um, and the other one is a zuki bean, which is a red bean, um, originally J Japanese? Well, the whole thing is originally Japanese, oh. they were telling us. Um, but then Taiwan kind of stole it during the Second World War, <laughs> and then Japan kind of forgot about them, and Taiwan embraced them. So, And they brought them over here, and Wheel Cake Island, I think this is the only place you can get them. I'd never seen them before they started doing this. They're so yummy. Right, let's give them a go. That one's matcha. Okay, I'll have a bite yeah, of that. Here we go. Mm. Look at that pudding. This is the red bean paste. It's actually like more of a savoury flavour. I want to it? try it. Yeah, let's talk to mm. mm. like custard. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Too big. Mm. Too big. <laughs> I took a big mouthful. I'm recording it now. Um, they said that they, they reduced the, they kind of soaked the beans and then they cooked the beans over a low heat for ages until they're really soft and then put them in add sugar. So it's not savoury savoury. No. But it's not sweet sweet. It's not like a custard. But also matcha. I love matcha. You do, and don't you? Yeah, I do because again it's not it takes the sweetness away from yeah. it. I just love it. And the colour is incredible. And also who doesn't love just basically a, a thick pancake, which is what they did at the end of the day. <laughs> pancakes are the best. Pancakes and donuts. Yes. This is amazing. You have to come here. And it's like absolutely huge as you can see so you can come here and you can have a full feast you can get all your savory food and then you can obviously get all your sweet stuff <laughs> amazing right um, we've got more sweet things we've got more sweet things to go i'm going to take this tray with me all right come on <laughs> So we're here at Pierre Hermé, which is macarons. Everybody loves a macaron, don't they? They do. And we don't have heaps of them here in London. It's not like Paris where you've got them left, right and centre. But this place is pretty ace at them, isn't it? Yeah, and Pierre Hermé actually was awarded best world best pastry chef in 2016. So I'm, I've got high hopes for these. Oh, they're delicious. Good. Yeah, if you want a macaron in London, then get these. All right, Come let's on, let's get some. <laughs> So we had to get seven because there was room for seven in the box and we needed it to look nice for you guys. So seven it is. Seven it is. They look but so beautiful. Look at that. It's like a and rainbow. There were so many flavours in there. It's actually really hard to choose. It is. My favourite pick though was the passion fruit milk chocolate, which is this one here. Which incidentally is Dane's favourite flavour. Macaron Dane. Yeah, he does. So hopefully. I trust you. Dane. Yeah, then we'll see. I'm going to go for the yogurt and pistachio and raspberry, which just looks really fun. Right, here we go. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Mm -mm. Yummy. That passion fruit flavor is incredible. And this yogurt is so tangy. Wow. Everything is good. That's mm. really good. Oh, let's do a swap. Let's swap these. They're really chewy as well, which is mm. exactly how a macaron That one's got a nice crispy shell and a really soft inside, which is Perfect. exactly as a macaron should be. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Oh, the flavors are incredible. They aren't really they? are. They really come through. How do you get so much flavor in such a small magic how do you do it <laughs> amazing right so mm. we've got seven uh we can't eat seven right now because we've got somewhere else to be so we'll pack them up oh. come with us okay <laughs> come on okay. <laughs> So we're here at a place called Wit, which is in Drury Lane, near Covent Garden. And this place has been, I think, I think it opened about a year ago. It specialises in cheesecake, and they do all kinds of cheesecake. You can have it frozen, you can have it whipped, you can have it pimped, you can have it baked, insane. Oh, I love it. It looks so cool. She's a like, massive cheesecake fan. Uh, it's this my favourite thing. This is probably your favourite <laughs> stop of the day. Probably going to get four. Four? <laughs> we'll see about that. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at these, they're absolutely I actually insane. can't believe how big this is. <laughs> so I've come for classic cheesecake because I absolutely adore cheesecake and it's honeycomb, um, mm. which is awesome as well. It's like it one of the like easiest, it's... most delicious things to make. I love it. I think there's, there's biscuits crumbs on there Amazing. as well. Right. I've gone for a red velvet soft serve with bits of red velvet cake 
I mean, it's melting so quickly, but it looks fantastic. They look incredible. I have to, I have to try this. Oh my goodness, it's so big. Yeah, happy? Mm -hmm. So my soft serve is apparently like a cheesecake soft serve, which is pretty exciting, so. My goodness. Let's have a little. Ooh, do you know what? That's really crazy. It's like frozen yogurt, but cakey. <laughs> and that makes sense? Ooh, that's really nice. Have a go. Look at my spoon. It's changing color. Whoa. 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 Look. Whoa, Whoa, I wanna do it. It's like those um wow. those t shirts. <laughs> Remember those t shirts from the eighties? They do. Do you actually No, because I wasn't born. I'm too old. Um, oh, that's great. As if this couldn't get more exciting, we've got changing spoons. Right. That's pretty awesome, right? Yeah. But I'm gonna need to find someone <laughs> to help me. Anyone you. to help me with this. <laughs> right, come on. It's a beast. <laughs> Okay, so we just got a hot tip for this place, which is called Wa, Japanese patisserie. Obviously, we visited a Japanese patisserie in Chinatown in our last video, but this one looks completely different, so I'm glad about that. Yeah, it looks kind of like Parisian always. It does. Fancy patisserie. It does look pretty yeah. fancy in there. So we're gonna go and check it out. This is our last stop, and I am ready to <laughs> probably stop eating sweet food after this, so let's go and get our last a bit. Space left a little place. bit of room. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> <laughs> like we predicted, it all looks so beautiful. It really is. So we went for this um, chocolate and banana cake, which looks awesome. And then this is a sweet potato roll. We asked the lady what her favourite was, and she said it was this one. Well, she actually said about five of them, but she said that this one was her first favourite. <laughs> and so. I've never had anything Yeah, made sweet, potato sweet potato roll. It looks like it's got a bit of nectarine or peach on the top as well. Delicious. And it's made with rice flour as well. Ah. So that is. Exciting. Oh, okay, God. I didn't really have to see this. Oh, it's so light. Mm. Mm. So the Japanese, they love this like super light. Is it like a Genoese? Yeah, do you know what it reminds me of? An Arctic roll. <laughs> you know that sponge? Yes, yeah, so I know it well, but it doesn't really remind me of that. Because those are like the kind of things you get really cheap at the newsagent when you're little. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they're not amazing. And they are. Arctic amazing. rolls, people. This? Get one. This is proper amazing. So I wasn't really expect. I didn't know what to expect for mm. sweet potato. I mean, it doesn't taste like sweet potato. I've got a little nugget here. I wonder if this is a bit of sweet potato. Oh, no. Let's have a go. Oh, it is. It's like candy sweet potato. Ooh. It's got a similar texture actually to the um, azuki bean from the Wheel Cake Island. Oh, yeah. It's like kind of sweet and dry, but nice. <laughs> sweet Does that make sense? No, it's delicious. <laughs> it is delicious. Let's try this chocolate banana. Yes. This was my choice. Okay. Mmm. 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 Boozy. So just banana y enough. Boozy. Don't you find you don't get a boozy flavour in that? Yeah. I don't know, let me try again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, these are great. Yeah, I'm this... so glad we popped this one on there. Yeah, this is great. Last minute list. Yeah, because if there was a bit of room to fill, we should definitely have filled it with this. <laughs> right, but I think I think I am full now. Okay, let's pack, we'll pack this up and take it back. We're gonna go back to Soho to Crumbs and Doily's shop and we'll have a cup of coffee, sit down, and a deep break. Maybe donate our leftovers to the staff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A mother ship. Home sweet home with a cup of tea. Oh, Only oh, put my feet up. I've got a hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, which I definitely didn't need more <laughs> sugar, but I like oh, it. Today was really fun, wow. wasn't it? Another like epic tour of Covent Garden and again just to school park London. Yeah. I hope you guys do the tour. Yeah, if, do, you, yeah. if you do it, then let us know in the comments box or when you guys come here, because if you're in the area, you're definitely coming here, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite? My favourite. I mean the cheesecake, the honeycomb cheesecake is I just adore cheesecake. Yeah. But I'll always go for a February party bun because mm -hmm. they're just they are. <laughs> they're just a classic everyday yummy thing. Yeah, you totally can you can totally justify having one of those every day as well because it's kind of
kind of like yeah, breakfast, lunch, whatever time there is. How about you? I think mine was actually the apple crumble custard ice cream for my delicious, which was such a good flavour, and it just tasted literally <laughs> like a mouthful of apple crumble and custard, yeah. but cold. Yeah, but that was that was really good. Um, I also really like the vegan donuts at Big Shop. Yeah, they're really super tart raspberry glaze. Yeah, absolutely. Yummy. They were all really good, and we'll yeah. put all of the locations and the names and whatnot in the description box below, so you can have a look at those. Yeah. And we'd love to do another one. We'd love to. We would love to. So if there's anywhere you like us to go to, then please tell us because otherwise we won't know. We will travel far and wide, far, far, and far, far, far away. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, awesome. cheers to cheers. a great day. Lovely. <laughs>